Hello, Revere, and welcome to the November show of the Revere Veterans and Community. Today I have a real special guest. He's been on here many times, and it's a pleasure to have him. He's the Director of Veterans Affairs in the City of Revere, Mark Silvestri. Mars, always a pleasure. My pleasure, Mark, and thank you for coming. Thank you. Before we start, and before we went on the air, we were talking about the RVAC, which is the Resolving Veterans Account. Please tell us exactly what it is. Okay, so um, uh, back before the fiscal budget, when I had to go up in front of the um, council, which I'd like to thank the city council for supporting that um, amendment um, in the motion of allowing me to open a revolving account. Uh, so I can run donations, um, I can accept donations, I can have fundraising, um, which we are doing right now, as you know, um, with the shirt you just purchased. Right. So, um, oh, I want you to speak about that too. I, I will. Okay. Um, uh, so what the revolving account does is we take the money. Um, it's, there's no cash, checks, or money orders made directly to the City of Revere Veteran Service Office. It gets po put into uh, an account, and then we use it for everything. We've used it for hotel rooms uh, for veterans in need. We've used it for um, veterans late on their rent. We've used it to help veterans start up jobs. Um, and it's been a huge help for not only the office to have access to funds besides our budget to help the veterans of the city, um, it, it's it's been a huge benefit to the veterans themselves, and they really appreciate it. And um, I got to really thank it was a unanimous support by the um, council, and uh, it, it's been a pleasure since doing so. That's great. So the people can mail, can they mail you the check or just wrap it up? They could. They can drop it off to the office. Um, any do donation, there's no donation that's too small, Morris. Uh, I um, agree with you. Uh, uh, right now, we have uh, the shirt like you just purchased. Oh, yeah. Um, these T-shirts here, they say uh, all gave some, some gave all. There'll be $15. Um, we do right now have in print, long sleeve um, for the winter and also three-quarter zip um, sweatshirts. Right, and these shirts, are they just going to be black or they come in different colors? No, you? right now we're going to stick with the traditional black right. and the yellow lettering. Um, it, it's, it's an honorable uh, t-shirt and, and, and it means something with significance, um, you know, and, 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 and it's true, you know, all of us gave some, but some of us gave more, gave more and, and right. some of them gave all. Yeah. May they rest in peace. Yes. Yeah, right. Right. I'd like to mention, since we were our veterans show, you know about the fire at Franklin Street. Absolutely. I had a gentleman up here. I think his name is Alex Rahimi, who's in charge of a group there. And he came in here, and he was telling me that there's a lot of homeless people. Some live in a cars, some need them. But if they are a veteran at 10 Franklin Street and they are homeless, can they contact you? Actually, Morris, it's, uh, I'm glad you asked that question because in the future, any veteran in a situation of an emergency absolutely can come see us. Um, I did make sure the night of the fire, I attended uh, both the mayor and myself were on scene at the fire for right. a good hour and a half. Um, the mayor was briefed uh, from the chief. I, I, the first question I had for him was to please find out if there was veterans inside the building. Um, we then went to the shelter where that was being held at the Revere High School, and I did a walkthrough to making sure there was no veterans from there. So as of yet, I haven't got word that there is a veteran living in the Taft Street, uh, Franklin Street fire. Uh, but if there is, absolutely, 100%, tell them to come see me immediately. Uh, in future, if you are a veteran in the city of Revere, and you run into difficulty or tragedy or, or your home sets fire or something and you're in need, in need of anything, um, even if it's someone to talk to, you come to the Revere Veteran Service Office. It's at 249 Revere uh, Broadway. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm there to help all veterans. And uh, my assistant, Donna, she's, she's like gold right, in that right. office. Right. 
So, and I would also like to mention, to, because we are a Revere Veterans and Community, and if you're not a veteran, and if you have an apartment that you can rent to some of the people there, contact those people, Alex Rahimi, and you can get his phone number at Revere TV. So uh, that's where it's at. Absolutely, and also, um, if you are a homeowner and you are looking to rent an apartment, you can give me a call at 781-286-8119. Um, if you're a moving company and you'd like to give a veteran a discount on packing and helping them move, uh, they need to be moved by November 15th. I'm also looking for that, Morris, as well. So uh, maybe we can get the community to give us a hand on those as well. Right, and I want you to give two numbers if you can. One is your telephone number at the veterans. The other one is an email if people want to email you and ask questions. Absolutely. So actually, I'm going to give three forms of uh, communication, uh, Morris. Um, they can contact me again at 781-286-8119. That's the Veterans Service Office. Right. They can email me at m. Silvestri, that's S-I-L-V-E-S-T-R-I -E at Revere.org. Um, if, they're, if they're on Facebook and social media, they can follow us on the City of Revere Veterans Service page. We usually update every day on events that are happening, uh, up-to-date memorial events, upcoming events, the food banks. Uh, we try to stay pretty live on our Facebook and right. social media as well, Mars. Good. This is, I, I want to ask you, do you have a separate email? At, in other words, I can go directly to the Revere, or I go to the Revere Veterans, you know, email. Do you have your own email? Yeah, that one, that msylvestri at revere.org will okay. come directly to me. Okay. And, and I have access to that 24 hours a day, seven days a week, Morris. Um, and, and if you're in a veteran in, in crisis and it's, it's, Two in the morning, three in the morning, you can email me that. It sits next to my head. It dings loud enough to wake me up. Um, <laughs> I've, I've practiced many times, uh, and I set my email to uh, come to my phone. So Right. Um, the next subject I'd like to talk to you about, you know, since this is going to be a November show, November the 11th, as you mentioned, is the 100th anniversary at the end of World War One. Yeah, absolutely. Since then, we've had World War Two. The Korea War, the Afghan the War, on. we're still at war, 17 years in Afghanistan. But in, in a decade of war since the right. Iraq War. Um, we got we got children in this uh, right. uh, uh, country that have grown up only knowing our country exactly. at battle. Right. Um, we, we have actual soldiers that were born after 9-11 that are now fighting in Afghanistan. Yeah. If, when, right. you, when you really think about that, it's, it's, it's you know, bizarre. I've got to tell you, I went in at 17. You've got my record. You can check it. We've Only been with your permission. Be my guest. We've been at war 17 years. That's as old as I was when I went in, and I was thinking about that. So if I was born now, when I went in at 17, the war would still be raging. Absolutely. It's, right. It's, it's a, it's, it's, it's a tough thing to think about, Morris. And you know, we got we got many vets out there I know that. in need. We got more and more vets that are going to be coming out of the service in need. But I'll tell you what, the the VA has truly stepped up its the, it, their game. This and I can speak for that because I was at the VA hospital and I saw veterans that came home without arms and without legs. Yeah, we had yep. a, a, one one who was completely helpless. Yeah. God right. rest them. Yeah. Um, and, and I tell you, they, they, they really have done due diligence at the VA uh, right. all around. And, and uh, one thing I can really say we're proud of here in Revere is um, the support and uh, the filing of claims for veterans. And if you're a veteran um, of any war and you've had any injury and you um, think you deserve a, a claim to file, please come down, make an appointment. Um, I'll let you know everything you need. We'll set a file. And, and honestly, Morris, I, I don't like to pat myself on the back a lot, but right now I'm blazing the VA on fire with uh, uh, VA claims. Um, the the v veterans of Revere are now in the top 10, not percent, the top 10 cities in the state of Massachusetts in incoming VA benefits federally.
Um, it's not only helped our veterans in a great deal, it's also have been able to help our Chapter 115 program because it's taken the stress off the city and is now putting it where it actually should go in, which is the federal government. Right. For many years, these veterans have been fighting this, and, and they're finally starting to, to get answers. And uh, I tell you, some of the payments that guys are getting and women, uh, they're very happy with right now. So if you're a vet and you're in the city of Rivera and you need help with a claim, make an appointment. Come on down, 249R, Broadway Revere, Veteran Service Office, and uh, we'll put, put it together. Right. And I would like to say thank you and salute every veteran that's out there that served and that is serving. Thank you all for your service, and right. God bless you so all, and be safe. Right. Now I'd like to talk to you about the November. We talked about a little of November 11th, but you are having something special and Thanksgiving for veterans. Absolutely. This is a, a, a combined effort between the Revere Veterans Committee, that's, uh, you know, Ira and Al Terminello right. are the heads of that. Um, uh, All's I am is uh, giving little bits of, of help when they need it and some assistance. Um, I have a couple presentations I'll be making, um, but the majority of this is on them. We got, we got I think, this may be one of the best November um, Veterans Day that's been put together, Morris, in a long time. And that's going to be held where? Uh? That's going to be at the VFW Post in Beachmont. That's Beachmont VFW Post 6712. That's at 150 Bennington Street in Revere, Mass. Uh, ceremony will start at 5 o'clock. The meal will be served at 615. Tickets are $15.00. They'll have an Italian buffet-style meal. All veterans, citizens, and friends are welcome. Um, I, we have uh, Dan Clark is going to be um, there, the singing state trooper, who puts on an amazing performance. We're going to have dance and um, entertainment provided uh, with a DJ. Also, uh, we're going to be... Do you know who the DJ is going to be there, if I may ask you? Um, I actually, Alabella? I, I, it is. That's who it is. Dancing with DJ Alabella, you got it. Um, and well, he's one of the best in Revere. And and, and there's going to be a, a special tribute to the World War One um, veterans, Morris. And I know there aren't many. There's no veterans left. No, of there the are World none War left of World War One, and very few left. I'll be honest with you. World uh, War Two. Yeah, and. Um, and we're going to remember them in a pretty special way on that night. I'm not going to disclose. Um, if you want to catch it, I guess you're going to have to spend $15 and come join us at the veterans uh, ceremony. Um, it's always a great time down there. The Women's Auxiliary, um, the Auxiliary with uh, June and, and her team yep. always goes above and beyond. And, and i got to tell you, they, they always do great job down there. Can the tickets be purchased in your office and at the door or not at the door? They got to be purchased ahead of time? Uh, Pre-event tickets on sale are, can be purchased at my office for right. $15. I'm not sure if tickets at the door go up, but I do know tickets purchased before um, and we would like to get the tickets as many as we can purchase prior so we have a head count on the food and whatnot right. like that. So, so it's first come, first serve. Yeah, we'll have enough for everyone, I'm sure. sure. Absolutely. So with the city, well, we got 50,000 people here. Can you handle it? <laughs> ah, I don't know if the VFW can fit all them. We might have to turn it into a block party, Morris. Well, if we have to, we'll do that. So all you veterans and all you nice folks out there, come on down. It's going to be fun. Okay. The next thing I'd like to talk to you about, I know it's a little early. What do veterans in need of Christmas? Um, well, before we get to Christmas, how about we go with Thanksgiving? Go right ahead. Okay, so veterans in need on th in Thanksgiving. If you're a veteran and you have a veteran or you know a veteran in need for Thanksgiving Day meals, please, co again, contact the office, 781-286-8119. Uh, uh, if you're a veteran in need, we will provide you a meal, turkey, uh, Everything you need for a, 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 a turkey day dinner, you'll get it. You're going to have need it. It's uncooked. It comes, it comes uh, uncooked. You mean we're going to be eating raw turkey? Well, no. They cook it. They're going to have to cook it themselves. Huh? Okay. Um, but also, 
There's um, the Mass Badge event yep. that's hosted in the city every year. That's also for veterans. It's coming up pretty soon. Um, that may be someone. Joe Antenacola, I, I believe, does the Mass Badge. He does, and, and I was just about to say that might be someone you should have on your next show, Morris. I tell you, he's one of the greatest. I've had him on. And I went to his mass badge last year. He does an excellent, excellent job. Excellent job. He Joe, does. thank you for everything you do for the veterans, and thank you for what you do for the community. Thank Absolutely. You. Joe's, Joe's great. Right. He's, uh, he's a stand-up guy. He loves giving back, um, and he's, he's part of our blue team. Right. Go right ahead. Uh, and so for, for Christmas, we also do a toy drive. Uh, if you want to help um, support the drive, we start collecting uh, right about after Thanksgiving. Um, I do identify veteran families, and we try to take on as many families as we can support uh, and, and give them direct services um, so everyone gets a little help. You know, Santa needs help sometimes, and, and we'd like to be the help that, that gives Santa at uh, the Veterans Service Office. Well, I had Santa Claus last year. I hope if he's not too busy this year, he comes on the show again. I'm sure Santa <laughs> will always make time for you, Morris. Okay. What I would like to do, if I may, I want to get into you about Christmas. But before we do, I want the people out there, if they want to donate any gifts to the veterans, Make sure it's brand new. We don't need what we don't need. We don't want anything that's old, and we don't want anything that's used. And sometimes people, they mean well, bring in used and old stuff that we cannot send to veterans overseas. Correct. The stuff that it goes to Operation Troop Support, uh, shampoos, that stuff. That stuff has to be 100% uh, brand new, sealed. Uh, they won't take it if it's not. Now. We do, at the Veterans Service Office, take at times that when we have the room, clothing and items like that for veterans in need. Uh, I like to say it doesn't have to be brand new, but if you wouldn't wear it, uh, please don't donate it for someone else to wear it, even if they're in need. If uh, you don't wear it, um, let's not have them wear it either. Now, Mark, I have to ask you, because I, I just said they have to be new. But if you say they don't have to be brand new, but uh, I'm... Okay, so we're talking, we're talking two different That's things. That's what I was going to ask. Okay. Uh, can you so, be a little specific? Yes. Operation Troop Support is uh, Dick Moody's operation right. that he's been running for several years now. Uh, um, years, yeah, yeah, I know that. Sending packaged goods from uh, Danvers, out of Danvers, Massachusetts, right. to... Uh, the troops that are stationed all overseas, um, uh, all over the world, they, they send them to them. At first it was just Iraq, then it was Iraq, Afghanistan. Now they're sending them to battle stations all over the world. Um, and it, it's an amazing program. If you want to donate to that program, that stuff you can drop off at our office. Once every couple of weeks, we make a trip up to Danvers and we drop it off to Operation Troop Support, who then packages it and sends it up to the troops overseas. That's great. But I would also like to mention, Mark, if people out there, and this is for the whole city and everywhere, if they have Christmas cards that they're not going to use, let them drop it off either at the Revere Veterans or even at the Revere Senior Center because we used to send cards to the troops. Absolutely. So even if you can't get a gift or something, Christmas cards sometimes it will suffice. I'll tell you, Morris, one of, one of the greatest things I've done with my girls in the last few years is uh, Christmas, uh, Christmas time has taken them over to the shelter in Boston, uh, to the veteran shelter. And we handed out hats and gloves and, 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 you know, the smile and the appreciation on those vets' faces to know that someone out there was thinking of them, it, it made a world of difference just for that small period of time. You know, they're, they're living in a shelter, they don't have much, um, but just that fact, and I, it, it, there's a lot more than me that do it. I have a, a great family that comes in all the time. They ask me what I think to bring over there, and they go in there as a family. They go and visit the veterans' hospitals. Yep. Um, they bring their children from young age on down right up to the oldest grandson goes and uh, they, they bring cards and they make a day of it and it's an amazing it's an amazing thing if you ever have the time um, and you want to do something special with your children 
take them to the VA shelter, take them to the VA hospital in Boston and, and, and let them spend some time with some veterans and, and, and it really puts a smile on their face. Two years ago in 2016, I happened to be at the VA Brockton during the Christmas holidays and a group of Santa Clauses came in. I mean a group, I didn't know there were that many, so, <laughs> but there are. So they came in there, they gave us little packages Christmas cards, and every Christmas card that was given, believe it or not, and there were hundreds of them, had a $5 bill that was donated by the Veterans Organization. Awesome. I don't, I don't want to mention Randolph or any of those places, Red, uh, Randolph or Acton or Sharon, but from the veterans in that area, the South Shore, they all came in there, and they gave us little packages and a nice Christmas card. Meant something, right? Oh, uh, man, it was a, like heaven opened up. Yeah. Again. Like, like a kid on Christmas. Right. And then, you know, I got to tell you, the folks, people love that. It's not that the government has to take care of the veterans. We have to take care of them, too. The government makes sure they're well taken care of. And then we send them a little gift. The civilian population, they love it. Absolutely, Morris. And, and, and the best thing to do, um, and, and, and it's happening here and revere more and more and with the likes of you and oh we um, got great veterans you know, here that the, the support of of people like bill reedy ira Novoselsky. i'm not even going to start naming people because i the list goes on this is there's a million and one people and the veteran support in our city is actually an, a, a great value and, and something to treasure um i really mean that the, the support when we need it it comes out this is an election year there's a lot of people running for political office from all over the state. And I want to know, whoever gets in, make sure when you're elected that the top priority is to take care of the veterans first. Make sure you do that out there, folks. And we would appreciate it. I agree. I know this World War II veteran would. I agree. Mayor Rigo made a promise to me when he ran that he would keep veterans in the forefront, and he really has. He's made sure that veterans are, are taken care of in this city, um, and, and i got to thank him for letting me be in the position to help the veterans. Cause you're honest, doing an excellent job, Mark. Thank you, Thank Morris. you. Thank you. I'd like to mention a few more things, if I may, Mark. Yes, sir. Overall, I don't, I'm not for, that familiar. How is the office doing? Uh, Right now, we're, we're running on all cylinders, Morris. We really are. Um, uh, Dawn and I have, have hit it off right since day one. Um, you, you know, um, things are running smooth. Like I said, we've, we've, we've hit the mark of top 10 in the state of Massachusetts, uh, 356 cities of 352 yeah. cities or something in yep. Massachusetts. Close and, enough. And, and, and to be in the top 10, um, up there with the likes of the, the, the towns like Boston, uh, the, the size of Boston, and, and we're up there right with them, um, is something special. Um, and, and, and that's a, a tribute to systems like Vetrospect. It's a tribute to um, having the time in the office to, to donate and give the, the time to VA claims and, and, and open the services up. Um, to to doing the claims, doing Chapter 115, aftercare, going to home visits. Um, we, we've really added some things to the Veterans Office. And, and I think, listen, the Veterans Office was great before I got there. It's and greater now. I, 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 I only want to leave it better when I leave. Mm -hmm. And I hope the person after me makes it better than I left it. And, right. and that's what I think a, a successful office, business, city, should should try to do. I would like to mention what I call the unknown hero. The unknown hero. People don't hear much, and that's Donna the Treason. She does a fabulous job on the food bank for the community and for the veterans. So Donna, from all of us, a great big big thank you for what you do. And Mark, the same goes to you. I appreciate it, Morris. And Donna is going to be mad at us, but you are absolutely right. What the, the, the things she does that that go unnoticed unheard of, unseen, are tremendous and truly amazing. Right, before we close, we only got about three and a half minutes, we talked about Operation Troop Support. Tell us what the, because we do now for females and males, tell us some of the items for females that they would like to get and some of the items the males would like to get. Oh, I, we got actually, the, you get the stuff like gum, books, socks, um, stuff like that. Nothing that, that's that, perishable, that are, right? That are, correct. That are, are both gender 
neutral, it doesn't really matter. Um, uh, then you also have um, women that need women products. Um, we know what women products are needed. Um, Perfume, stockings, girdles, yeah, whatever. Yep. I, I wouldn't go even that far. I, I'm talking more sanitary products. Um, soap? Soap, baby wipes, uh, maybe like um, uh, toothpaste? women's um, body wash, stuff like that. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's a list that goes on, um, and, and anything you, you want to add uh, is more than welcome, as long as you think it's going to last. Chocolate is something that don't make it to Afghanistan. I promise you firsthand um, solid knowledge, candy, but solid candy does. Hot candy, right. Yeah. That's great. So that's what we would like to ship overseas. If I'm, Absolutely. Right. And I want to reiterate again, folks. From this point, everything has to be new. Nothing used, nothing old, but new. Because that's what we have to send the troops. And I want to say, Mark, you got a minute and a half. Take a minute and 10 seconds to yourself. Well, I'd like to thank you, Morris, for oh, having me. Oh, it's a me. pleasure. Um, I, I'd like to thank the city of Revere um, for supporting the Veterans Office like they have over the last couple of years. Um, and I hope they continue to do so. Uh, Sunday, this Sunday actually, at 10.30 a.m. Um, at the corner of Hyde and Cheever Street, um, by right behind the Legion building. Right. We're doing a memorial dedication to the longest standing veteran service officer in the city, Jerry Delina. Um, and we're, we're doing his memorial dedication on Sunday morning at 10.30. So if you'd like to come there, we'll be right behind Legion Hall. Everyone's welcome. Um, it's Jerry was a special man. His son's a special, and uh, we're going to put on a special show for them Sunday. I want to thank you again. I'd like to see everyone there November 11th to support Veterans Day. Um, it means a lot to me. It means a lot to our veterans. And um, Morris, again, thank you. It's a pleasure always. Right. And before we close, I'd like to say one more word. To all our veterans and communities, have a happy, happy, healthy Thanksgiving until we see you in around December too, Mark. So God bless our troops, God bless all our veterans, and God bless the people of Revere, and God bless you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, and thank you for listening, folks. And I hope we have another great show like this next time we see you. Thank you. <laughs>